What's up guys, Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week one team builder for ABL Season 5 in the Magma Division. Taking on uh, a new friend in Zach, the Weather Gamer and Chicago Charizard X. Uh, I will try to remember to have a link, in, link uh, to his channel in the description of the battle, because uh, I definitely won't remember to link it in the team builder. But uh, keep an eye out for the battle, which should go up the day after this, and I will try to have a link to his channel over there. Let's run through his team. So he's got the Z Celesteela, Z Greninja, Whimsicott, Espeon, Seismitoad, Croagonal, Dustwar, Mega Manectric, Infernape, Hydreigon, Archaeops, and Z Victory Bell. He has priority options in the Greninja with Shadow Sneak and Water Shuriken, and the Infernape with Vacuum Wave and Mock Punch. Hazard set and Espeon with Quick Attack too, I guess. And realistically, Whimsicott with Prankster options, but that's all common knowledge there uh hazard setting he's got the greninja with spikes and toxic spikes seismito with rocks archaeops with rocks and infernape with rocks removal wise he's got the whimsicott with defog crognal with rapid spin and defog a high dragon with defog and archaeops with defog and his four times weaknesses are the whimsicott to poison which i don't have covered i don't i don't have that covered this week seismito to grass which i also i, I might have that covered actually and then high dragon to fairy uh, which I definitely don't have covered because I'm not bringing my fairy. So uh, that is kind of what's going on there. Um, 12 mon, I'm not a big fan of 12 mon, so it's going to be really difficult. Uh, I, I don't like prepping with 12 mon because I feel like uh, in this matchup in particular, I actually had a lot of options that I wanted to bring, um, especially to deal with the options that I think he's going to bring in terms of what I don't think is coming. I'm hesitant to say that Whimsicott comes, just because I don't necessarily think he's got all the best options for it. He might bring it as an Encore uh, Mon to deal with my Mega Charizard X. Um, Seismitoad, again, another Mon that I'm completely iffy on. I think that he might have to bring it for Mega Charizard X, because looking at the rest of his team, his the rest of his team does not deal with Mega Charizard X well at all. Uh, so I'm tempted to say Seismitoad does come, but besides that, I have Triple Grass. So... Because of Triple Grass, I'm also kind of hesitant to say that it does come. Because it's really tempting to say that it's not going to show up. That's kind of another reason why I don't think Victory Bell is coming. I think Infernape is 100% coming. Uh, Celesteela is 100% coming. Besides Zapdos and Megazard X, I ate walls the rest of my roster, especially Triple Grass. Those two are definitely coming. Uh, Greninja could come. Again, Triple Grass is a thing. And I also have Triple Water. Um, and I'm not necessarily all that weak to it. But... He could bring it. It's, it's on the list of things that could definitely come. Um, mainly Infernape, Celesteela, and Mega Manectric, I think, are the big three that have to come against me. Uh, Hydreigon's also a very good option against me. So let's say those four for sure. And then he's kind of got a pick between the rest of them. And there's a lot of options that look kind of bad against me. So I don't think Victory Bell's coming. I don't think Dust Noir's coming, even though Victory Bell and Dust Noir both have uh, potential uses this game. Uh, I think Whimsicott's less likely to come. I think um, Seismitoad more likely to come. Espeon less likely to come. Crogonal less likely to come. Uh, although Crogonal can definitely deal with triple water fairly effectively uh, with freeze dry. And I don't have a freeze dry resist on the squad. Um, like I straight up didn't draft a freeze dry resist. So he could definitely opt into bringing like a Specs Crogonal and go ham against my team. Now in terms of what I'm bringing here, I've got the Akaberry Ferrothorn to start off with Steve here making it its return on this team. I haven't played with uh, Ferrothorn since D&D, &D, which is about a year and a half ago now. I've got Leech Seed, Gyro Ball, Stealth Rock, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is really helpful against mons like Infernape, especially if I can get the Akaberry off, I can T-Wave it. That'd be really nice. Um, getting up rocks against anything is really helpful but t waving his faster mons like the uh like the hydra and the greninja and the infernape would be really cool obviously i can't t wave the espion because of magic bounce and i'm not even gonna bother trying um gyro ball is gonna be able to deal with the espion though if he tries to lead it against my ferrothorn and i've obviously got Akaberry there to deal with an hp fire set from the espion um it doesn't get focus blast or anything like that so uh, it should be hp fire uh, rocks are really helpful against the team, not for a whole lot of reasons, but just really good chip against the Celesteela is nice, uh, especially if he does turn out to be a Leech Seed Flamethrower variant, which is kind of what I'm anticipating, like Leech Seed Flamethrower, Protect, and maybe Flash Cannon, or maybe Heavy Slam, I'm not sure which one he would opt for there, probably more than likely Flash Cannon. Um, it, it's somewhat walled by my Slowking, which, is, which would be nice, but I really can't afford to give it any Beast Boost, especially if it's a Spadef Beast Boost, uh, that would be very detrimental to my game plan. 
I'm just a mixed variant of Ferrothorn, kind of split the EVs randomly. I'm not looking to live any hit in particular, but I am looking to live uh, hits from various mons uh, and get some chip off with Iron Barbs plus Leaf Seed or Iron Barbs plus Rocks, whatever. Ferrothorn is just kind of a pain in the ass for him to deal with, um, and he's going to have to burn my Lockaberry with something and take damage with something. Uh, Mega Manectric after the Intimidate is not taking a lot from Gyro Ball, but it's taking a decent chunk. It might actually be a better play to click Leech Seed. I wanted to put Protect on the set, but I really didn't have room for it. I needed the speed control with Thunder Wave. Uh, my team is relatively slow and his team is ridiculously fast. Most of his team is above base 100. Um, in fact, 7 out of 12 bonds are above base 100 speed. And uh, he's got a few that just outspeed my team. He's got three, I think, that completely outspeed my entire roster. Uh, so Thunder Wave for speed control is really important there. Zapdos running a static Zapdos set, fully spadef. So there's a reason for this. This is uh, a main Espeon switch in, main Greninja switch in, main Mega Manectric switch in, and main Hydreigon switch in. Uh, it's really dangerous that I have to use it for that many pivots, but I, I really do have to. Uh, Roost for recovery, of course. Defog to get rid of his hazards, especially if he's a Spike, T-Spike Greninja set. That could be really annoying. Um, Toxic to deal with seismitoad in particular but also the crogonal um his cleric is espion for 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 reference so uh, his heal bill user is not great and it's not going to click it uh discharge for the rest of the meta um toxic also there for the manectric i can toxic it and then just stall it out with roost unless he's a charge beam set which be would be absolutely flames against me i don't think he needs to be but he could be I think he's got to be an HP Ice variant. Um, HP Ice, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, just a standard Mega Manectric probably does enough against me. I do have Double Ground and Triple Grass, so um, Flamethrower plus HP Ice will be more than enough coverage options for him uh, For him there. He's obviously relatively walled by Mega Charizard X. He can't hit Mega Charizard X super effectively unless he runs like HP Dragon or HP Ground, and I don't think either of those are good options for him. So that's Zapdos, pretty quick on that one. Um, an Assault Vest set on the Sloking here with Scald, Dragon Tail, Grass on, and Fire Blast. I actually should not be Calm anymore. I should change this to Sassy so that my Dragon Tail does a little bit more damage. I'm not trying to outspeed anything anyways, so there's really no point in doing that. But um, Scald for just general coverage. I mean, it hits the Infernape really well. I'm a natural Infernape resist, which is nice. Uh, and the best ways for him to hit me super effectively are either U-turn or special coverage. And I'm very specially bulky. This is actually my primary Espeon switch in. I should have mentioned that before. Um, so Zapdos doesn't have to deal with that, but this is definitely my primary Espeon switch in and my primary Celesteela switch in. I should be able to tank anything from the Celesteela. Biggest concerns are a Grass uh, a grass Z or an Electric Z from the Celesteela. Of course, Electric Z would only be like Shockwave, so wouldn't be a huge deal, but Grass Z could be, uh, could be Seed Bomb, which would be really annoying. Uh, Dragon Tail to phase things like Calm Mind Espeon, which could be a gigantic problem for the rest of the team. Um, you know, I can tank a hit from a Hydra, especially if it locks itself into Draco, it'd be more than ideal. Uh, I'm not sure he would want to lock himself into Dark Pulse with a Keldeo around, so we'll sort of see about that. It seems like he would want to lock himself into a Dragon move against the, uh, against the Zard X anyways, um, at a certain point, so... Um, yeah, I can also deal with Special Infernape with this really easily. Uh, this is a very easy switch into Special Infernape, and Physical Infernape for that matter. Victory Bell is kind of a pain in the ass, especially if it's a physical variant, but I can kind of deal with it still. Uh, honestly, his offense was really difficult to prep for. Um, I, I, my defense just couldn't handle it. Like, <laughs> My team is not built to take on to take on uh, really good fast electrics uh, like Mega Manectric, unfortunately. So uh, that's something that I might need to patch up later on. Um, unfortunately, you know, I've got double ground, but I just I just can't handle it plus the extra offense that he's got on his team. So it's going to be quite annoying to deal with. Uh, Grass Knot is there for the Seismitoad. It should do a shitload of damage to that, and I won't get hard walled by it. And then Fire Blast is there for the Celesteela. Um, that should be everything I need on the team, honestly. I should hit quite a few things um, really well with this Loking set. Keldeo's next. Choice Specs Keldeo. He doesn't actually have switch ins too. So um, his fighting resists are Espeon and Whimsicott and Dust Noir. I don't think Dust Noir is coming. I think it's a very low likelihood of Espeon or Whimsicott coming. Uh, Victory Bell is actually a fighting resist too. I should have mentioned that. But um, I think at preview, I'm going to be able to click Spec Secret Sword pretty freely. If Seismitoad is gone or really. If Seismitoad's gone, I think it'll be Water Absorbed because I've got triple water. So if Seismitoad is gone, then I can really freely just click Specs Pump 
um, and just obliterate this entire squad. Victory Bell and Whimsicott will not be taking Specs Hydro Pumps. They, they will absolutely be not taking Specs Hydro Pumps. I can get this in for free uh, against anything slower than me, which, to be fair, is actually kind of most of the team. Um, you know, I'm not Scarf, but I will be doing a shitload of... Sorry, I'll be doing a lot of damage. Uh, and HP Grass is there for the Seismitoad in case it does end up switching into me. Uh, Scald in case I don't want to miss. And I didn't want to go with Surf. I just wanted to cripple some things with Burns. Because um, I'm actually not running Toxic at all on this build. Zardex is next. Uh, Roost, Dragonclaw, Dragonance, Flare Blitz. Really bulky Zardex. Um, I realized his answers to like Mono Flare Blitz Zardex is essentially just Seismitoad. Nothing else really handles it well at all. Like, Hydra can kind of eat a hit, but, like, kind of not. So, Dragon Claw deals with Hydra and Seismitoad really effectively. Uh, I thought about running an HP Grass set because Zardex's special attack still goes up to 130. Um, but it's actually better just because of Tough Claws for me to run Dragon Claw uh, with Stab. With Stab Tough Claws, it's better for me to run that than running um, Hasty HP Grass for it. So that's the plan. Uh, once I get to plus two, the game is basically over. If I can ever get to plus two, the game is basically over. Plus two attack, that is. I don't really need the speed besides plus one speed. Although it would be nice to outspeed, I don't know, Scarf and Front Ape or something. Um, hitting with close combat. I'm very bulky, so I can roost on a lot of stuff as well. Meg like I said, Mega Manectric can't really deal with me all that well, but he could intimidate cycle against me. Really, his answers to Zardex offensively are Seismitoad and Archaeops and potentially a Scarfer that can one-shot it, i.e. High Dragon. But if he lets me get to plus one, then that's not a check anymore. I am outspeeding High Dragon uh, naturally, so if he Specs, I'll outspeed him. If he Scarf, I'll outspeed him after a Dragon Ants, and I should be able to deal with him that way. Um, yeah, I really like Zardex in this matchup. It's really solid, but I need to get it in before Rocks. Um, luckily, I am a bit of a bulkier set, so I can kind of just roost. Like I said, I can roost on a lot of stuff, even if I do happen to take rocks. Uh, we do have to mega first turn, so um, it's not going to be the end of the world if I get Zard in and I have to just mega evolve, because uh, there's no real problem there. Diggersby's the last. Uh, it's a pretty reliable Scarfer against most of this team. It's able to deal with Mega Manectric fairly effectively. Um, obviously, HP Ice is really annoying, and I'd like to keep Diggersby as healthy as I possibly can, but it's a really solid pivot option, and it kind of baits in Celesteela, which baits in my Zardex. So uh, if I can U-turn on some stuff, um, then I can bring in my Zardex on the Celesteela for free and possibly just get up a Dragon Dance right there, uh, and that actually might just be game at a certain level. <laughs> at a certain point in the game, that might just be game. Um, Seismitoad's not denting my Zardex hard enough with Earthquake because I'm max HP, so there's a lot that goes into this game, but that's kind of the game plan in general, is forcing the Celesteela in and getting Zardex in on it. Um, so a lot of chip, not super necessary, but I have the ability to get chip if I have to, uh, and that's sort of where I'm going from there. Archaeops is not a check to anything uh, below half, so... I'm going to try and deal with it that way. It can't really beat Ferrothorn either. So Archaeops, like, uh, Ferrothorn's a really easy Archaeops switch in for me. Um, I'm outspeeding, what am I outspeeding with Diggersby? I'm outspeeding Mega Manectric with this Diggersby spread uh, and hitting really, really hard with huge power. Um, Keldeo is also speed tying in front by the way. I totally forgot to mention that. So that's the team. Uh, in terms of what I'm not bringing, Nido King was a solid bring, but I would have wanted to bring Life Orb, and it's a little bit too slow against this team. Uh, DNC is only really a, a Hydra check, and he's definitely going to pack Flash Cannon on that. I think it'll be like four attacks with Fire Blast, Flash Cannon, Draco, Dark Pulse. I can't imagine that he actually has room for U-Turn, uh, unless he's like straight up not predicting me to bring DNC at all, which would be silly, because DNC actually doesn't look half bad um, against the Hydra. <clears throat> Obviously, against a lot of the other things, it looks kind of bad i.e. Seismitoad, Greninja, Whimsicott, Victory Bell, Celesteela. Um, so he may opt out of Flash Cannon, I'm not sure. Alolan Persian was also alright, but I don't want my Parting Shot bounced back against me, so no thanks. Obama Snow was on the original draft for the team, but I pulled it off. I won't go into more depth with that if we ever match up in playoffs, who knows. Gorgeist, uh, again, really bad. <laughs> Um, loses to one of his waters. He's got double dark, so uh, double dark plus Infernape. There's really no point in me bringing Gorgeist here. And then Golisopod I also considered bringing because it was really good revenge killer against uh, Greninja and Hydra, but it can't deal with Celesteela very well um, without running like a lot of speed and then 
banded liquidation or something like that but again seismitoads coming for zardex so um it was kind of why i didn't bring those so that's gonna be for me hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys for the match